Hey, I'm Nicole Bidwell. I'm the head coach of the 620 CKRM Rider Cheerleading Team. What year? I'm Stephen Fontaine and I'm here trying out for the 2010 Saskatchewan Rough Rider cheerleading team. Um, I've been cheerleading for I think about four or five years now so I'm pretty excited to see what it's all going to be about. My name is Shando Olenek. Um, I danced competitively for 16 years and another girl from my studio was involved in both the Rams and Riders cheerleading team. And so she convinced me to try out for Rams to learn to tumble and stunt and it was a great new experience. And so I'm here this year to expand my cheerleading experiences. Hi, my name is Ainsley Myra. I'm trying out for this team for my fourth year. Um, I've been a part of the 620 CKR and Rough Rider cheerleaders for the past three seasons and have enjoyed myself. Um, I love performing, I love being in front of the crowd and supporting our home team and I'm excited to do it again for my fourth year. Everybody has to try out again so there is no guaranteed spot so you're going to see your vets try them out uh, again as well. Uh, don't get me wrong though I do want a lot of returning members. It's great leadership and experience that they bring to the table. So It's their opportunity for them to show their skills to the public. And that was the biggest reason that I wanted to do this was um, I've been doing this for so long, it is, it is very uh, skilled, very um, athletic, but nobody sees it. And now you have 30,000 plus people who actually get to see what we do. I typically take about 36, but it just depends on what I see. So um, if I had uh, 40 amazing athletes, I would, I would take those 40. The key is finding the right mix of people. So when it comes to the stunting part of it, we have different positions. Um, so I can't have uh, only a team full of people that want to fly in the air because who's going to throw them? Me and a few other guys were in high school and uh, we all thought, you know, it'd be funny just, you know, jokingly try out for the cheerleading team. Then the coach actually put us on the team and it was a great sport to be in. Um, and the people are just, they're, they're great. Last year we had eight males on the team. Um, you just uh, open up a lot of possibilities when you have them in terms of the throws and and the lifts uh, and, and things like that. So um, I'd like to be able to get as many of those guys out here as I could. And I think that is still uh, something we need to work on here in Regina. I have most of my males come from Saskatoon where they have a, a lot of good all-star adult programs. You'd be surprised at the backgrounds of some of these males. Um, uh, for example, I've, I've coached um, somebody who was a, an offensive lineman for the Huskies. Uh, in Saskatoon and I've got somebody here who was a former Hilltops player so you know you'd be surprised at their backgrounds as well. I've cheered at Husky games before and like and even that that is just great and like just hearing the crowd cheer and so I think like on an even bigger scale for like the Rough Riders it would just be just phenomenal I think it'd be it'd be really awesome. Well you need a lot of uh, athleticism strength stamina for our routines uh, and for our games you are going the entire time uh, and our game days are typically, uh, we arrive at the field two or three hours ahead of time to start practicing and marking our space on the field. And then you're going from your opener pre-game show to all the sidelines, to all the timeouts, uh, all the way to the end. So a lot of stamina, for sure, and athleticism on that part. Um, you have to be really outgoing too, because I expect these people to interact with um, the fans who are sitting in the 100th row as well and, and get that eye contact with them and engage with them. So I need people who are not stuck in their shell, but really outgoing and, and, and socializing with them. You always have to perform. You have to be able to interact with the crowd. You have to be able to smile. You have to be able to be positive, And you have to be able to take one thing and just move on with the next. I myself, I never know that my spot is a sure spot, but with the background I have, I believe that it does contribute to what I have to put on the field and contribute to the team, so. make the team if you have no stunting experience but perhaps you have 15, 16 years of dance experience. So your primary role would be a dancer. I believe more just the discipline of dance helps you adapt to cheerleading better. Um, being formally trained and pushed to excellence every day of your life helps you adapt to a new sport. And then we have people whose primary role might be as a gymnast. 
So in a lot of our routines, uh, we love to incorporate the tumbling lines that go across the field. Um, so they might be a gymnast. I definitely want to have strong gymnasts on the team. Uh, I remember I come from a competitive cheerleading background, so I'm still used to using all of that. The body awareness, the tumbling, um, all the kind of aerial skills you learn in gymnastics, it all applies to cheerleading. It makes you a more versatile athlete with what you can do, and it's a great way to continue on in the sport of gymnastics without having such a demand on your body. So. As a male, you're obviously the one throwing people. Um, as a top, you're the one being thrown. And then when it comes to the girl groups that you'll see stunting, so uh, don't, uh, don't underestimate the girls. They're, we have a lot of really strong females too. So you have a, what's called a main base, so she's the one essentially directly underneath that stunt. You have a side who's doing some of the stability, stabilization, and then you have a third or a back. Typically is taller and they can reach above the arm length of that main base so that they can stabilize on the ankle of that top. So those are all the different roles. For the males, the hardest thing is just getting them to try it. <laughs> but once they try it, they're surprised at A, how difficult this is. Even at Grey Cup this year, I had uh, Bates, who played for BC, and he's from Saskatoon, so I knew him there. I actually got him to throw up one of my girls and hold her in hands as well. And he was surprised at the difficult task that this was. It's a lot of stability as well. So if you think of it, um, I mean, sure, you might be doing a shoulder press, which is very much like weightlifting, except now you've got a moving body. So the stability that it requires as well is very challenging. And I think they like that aspect of it. They just got to try it. We train on a gymnastics floor, matted obviously, and this has spring to it. And then we go to a field, which is dead. I mean, it's not giving you any of that bounce back at all. Uh, and then on the sidelines, we're on concrete. So just even the repetitive impact that all those landings can have on the ankles, you have to make sure that you're catching very, very well, uh, especially in the, in the co-ed stunting, where the girls essentially just get popped down and they land on their own feet. Uh, the guy has to slow her down and has to minimize that impact on those ankles. But the reality is it is risky. I, I don't want any falls out there and that's our goal. Um, but people have to understand that there is a level of risk to it too. I'm a very committed person. I'm not going to let you down, um, which I think is very important in cheerleading. If a top's flying at you, you got to catch them. Some people aren't as committed <laughs> sometimes, but I'm very committed. I'll be there all the time. And the other thing that people don't realize is we get um, asked to do so many different community events, different promotional events. I'd like people to realize the extent of the commitment that it is, that it's not my full-time job or theirs. Um, a lot of people just assume that. And they do it um, to be a part of the team. They're not paid members by any means. I myself find that it's so much fun. Um, it, it doesn't feel like I'm ever going to work or going to do something um, that is going to be work. And yes, it is work, but it's, it's so much fun. You're with a lot of people who I do consider to be all of my friends. Um, and we all work hard together to succeed. And I think it's a, a great bond we have on this team and on the field, so. We do do a lot of um, interaction with the community, getting involved in different events. And I love going out there. I love working with the kids. Um, we have uh, Little Miss Rider Day and Junior Rider Day when we have the, the weekend counts for the kids and they come and do halftime at a, at a rider game. And it's, it's so much fun giving back to the community because being on the rider team has given so much to me. And I feel that with that privilege that I should be the one giving back and putting myself out there and, and truly expanding what I've gotten back to the people that, that live in Regina and Saskatchewan. Last year we had about 25% of our team from Saskatoon, so meaning that they're traveling uh, two and a half hours, sometimes more than once a week, to be on the team. I believe that our team does have a positive connection with the team on the field. Um, we're not only cheerleaders on the sidelines, but we also are rider fans. We love training them on, we're a part of the game, we love watching, and by having that dynamic, it really helps us interact the, with what's going on in the field with the crowd. And um, we really do see that interaction with getting them to come with cheers, with, with interacting them with what we're doing on the sidelines. And I think it's a really special part of the game. I love standing in the tunnel, running out after Gainer, being on that field, and having a Mosaic Stadium full of people screaming, excited, um, just pumped up for the riders to come out on that field. And we're a part of that. 
I want to be out on that field with the fans cheering and just performing my heart out. Hearing that opening song when they come on, it just it gives you shivers hearing everybody support that team. And um, being able to be a part of Rider Nation is just a true privilege.